South Walton firefighter Lieutenant Stephen Newsom is sharing his cancer survival story to bring awareness to the issue. News 13's Anna Hoffman is live in our studios tonight. Anna, what's Lieutenant Newsom's story? Amy, in April of 2020, Lieutenant Newsom went to the doctor for what he thought was just shoulder pains. It turns out he had cancer. Almost two years later, Newsom is sharing his story in hopes of educating other firefighters of the risks they face every day. South Walton Fire District Lieutenant Stephen Newsom was shocked to learn he had cancer. I think one year, two years prior to this, and we were discussing this, uh, what can we do to stop cancer within the fire service, becoming more aware. And two years later, I end up with it. He was sidelined from firefighting for eight months. During that time, he had four rounds of chemotherapy, targeted radiation on his shoulder, and a stem cell transplant. It was hard. Uh, you know, going through chemotherapy because of what it does to you and how it makes you feel. In October of 2020, Newsom completed his treatment and is now in remission. And to finally reach the end of that, and now I can get to recovery and trying to get back what chemotherapy took because it takes from you. Newsom is now back on duty, but he isn't just fighting fires. He's also battling to make sure cancer doesn't affect his team. We didn't know that. So now we're more aware of this, that we have to clean our gear and stay clean, clean our equipment better, keep clean cabs uh, on our trucks. Cancer can be caused by carcinogens getting stuck to their gear. This problem has become so common that state legislature is doing their best to provide aid to first responders. We put it in state law that if our firefighters contract one of these cancers, uh, the state of Florida has created provisions to make sure that they've got benefits to help them fight off this terrible disease. Florida's chief financial officer, Jimmy Patronis, says the state has identified 20 common cancers for firefighters. This benefit will be like another form of health insurance to pay for their treatment. They've got our back, and now it's time for us to show that we've got their back. Newsom says South Walton firefighters immediately clean their gear after every call for safe precautions. He says most fire departments in Northwest Florida are doing the same. Now, Anna, do firefighters have to apply to get these benefits? No, Amy. Patromas says they are getting, if you're a firefighter working in Florida, they get these benefits automatically from their employer. And so they should. All right, Anna Hoffman tonight. Thank you.